clarifying my goal with the Tacoma TSS Blackout Project. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. The neighbors have me locked out today, so I, I can't walk back that way. Anyway, I wanted to clarify what I'm trying to accomplish with the Tacoma TSS Emblem Blackout Project. You know, I did a little rap thing. I put a video out pretty recently um, of a fail I had with that mod, right? I got it all wrapped up. I thought it was good. Man, I left it sit overnight. Then I got up the next morning, ran over to look at it, you know, like a little kid at Christmas time, right? I do these things. I pull it out in front of me. I, I get it out. I take it out in the light and I see two little shadows, two little stains, almost what it looked like, underneath the wrap, right? And I'm like, oh man, this is a Tacoma Mod fail. It's like my third one now, what the heck? So anyway, what am I trying to accomplish? You know, what I wanna do is I, in essence, wanna mute the chrome that's in that emblem. You know, the emblem on the front of the Tacoma, the big Tacoma badge, the one that that TSS sensor sits behind. And that's another part of the problem. You know, when you're messing with that, if you care about maintaining the functionality of the TSS sensor, you have to put something on that isn't going to block the signal, the radar, right? Because if you do that, you're going to get nice little lights on your screen, you know, on the gauge cluster inside your truck. So I'm trying to avoid that. And I think the best way to do it is using wrap because it's just vinyl and the signal doesn't have any problems penetrating that, right? And I tested this theory out a while back. I took two or three layers of uh, painter's tape and I taped that whole emblem up, right? And then I went out and drove around and it wasn't until I put either the third or fourth, maybe even the fifth layer on that I actually had a TSS failure. So I'm confident that using vinyl wrap isn't gonna cause any kind of an issue. Now, I've had a lot of comments, particularly on the mod fail video that I did from people suggesting possible solutions or alternatives to covering up that badge. And I appreciate all those, I really do. But I gotta say, a lot of them are completely blacking out that badge, right? And that's not my goal. You know, I'm not looking to completely get rid of it and just have a, a black circle on the front of the truck. Some people have suggested putting the Rob Motive logo on there. You know, the logo for the channel, the RM, Rob Motive. Um, but there comes a point when you have too much, right? And I don't want to inundate the truck with Rob Motive press, if you will, or Rob Motive uh, insignia. That's not what I'm looking to do. I already have enough on the truck, I think. I have a little Rob Motive badge over here. And then if you open the door on the truck, I'll show you guys. Um, I have the Rob Motive logo here on the sill plate. And then the Rob Motive badge here on the center console, which I really love that, by the way. And then if we walk around to the back, I even have one more little piece, and that's the Rob Motive cover or surround here for the license plate. And then the Rob Motive stickers on the back, right? You see where I'm going. I've got a lot of Rob Motive stuff on this truck already. So I think putting even more on it is just going too far. I'm really not looking to, you know, become a, a complete billboard driving down the road. Although it is good publicity or advertisement for the channel. I mean, that's my goal, right? It is the channel truck, so I'm trying to get the word out. So I'm really not looking to do that. I don't want any more Rob Motive uh, badges on the truck. I think I have plenty. Now, there's a couple of others out there I've seen where it's some other insignia. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, and that looks cool, you know, if that's your only thing on the truck. Again, I'm not looking to overdo it, right? So the point is to have some sort of a translucent material that will dull that chrome Tacoma badge underneath, but still allow for penetration of the radar signal for the TSS system. Now, 
I had mentioned in this previous video that it was a mod fail, right? I'm not so sure fail was probably the right word. The right word was probably trial or maybe learning experience. And don't get me wrong, I was looking to have that to be the finished product, right? I don't like redoing mods. You know, it's a little pet peeve of mine. And I know some of you are gonna say, yeah, but you've taken mods off of your 2018, you put them on this truck, on the Jeep channel, you put the mods from one on another. So that's kind of redoing stuff, right? It is, and I hate doing that. I don't enjoy doing that. Unless there's some little nuance or some little difference, you know? It can even be something as simple as just changing the color of something. Then it feels new to me. I don't mind it then, but I really don't like redoing things. I had to do it in this case. So going forward on this emblem mod, I did get some other material in, a different kind of wrap, if you will, um, to try to see if it makes any difference whatsoever. And then I'm also not going to use the soapy water uh, that I had used on this badge because I think that little uh, shadow that I had or stain underneath the tent was really soap. I think it just left a mark on the badge itself and when the thing cured a little bit, dried a little bit, that didn't go away. The soap stayed in there in dry form, if you will. Now, another thing that I tried, which I'm not sure if it's right or wrong as far as tenting goes, but I've seen guys do it, and that is kind of poking little holes when you get little air bubbles and stuff um, to release any fluid water in this case that's underneath or any air bubbles. Now, I think that could be an issue if you don't have a good seal once you put that little, and I mean tiny pinprick of a hole in it, that you can let water in in the future. And if you live in a cold climate and you get rain and then it freezes, obviously you wouldn't want any water seeping in between the tent and the badge. It is on the outside of the truck, right? So it's gonna be exposed to the elements and then that water could freeze. And you know what happens when water freezes, right? It expands and it's gonna push away a little bit the tent from the emblem itself and then once the water evaporates or dries or whatever, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of a bubble there. You can also get condensation, right? I mean, if you're allowing moisture to get in and it gets warm, you're gonna have a little bit of condensation in there. And if you're like me, that would matter, that would bother me. So I think though, down here in the climate I'm in, it's not that big a deal. We don't get freezing temperatures, at least not often, we did this year killed a whole bunch of plants and stuff. But I don't think that's any kind of an issue here, nor do I think it's an issue as long as you use a teeny tiny little pinprick hole and then make sure you push that tent up against the emblem so that uh, there's no opportunity for any moisture to get in. One thing that uh, I never knew about tent, I'll throw this in, all of the uh, materials that I got have adhesive on the back. I never realized that tent had adhesive on the back. I thought it just stuck as a matter of, uh, I don't know, friction? I don't know, I, I guess I really never knew, but I, I imagined that the water, the soapy water that the tenter used had kind of adhered, if you will, the tent to the glass, and then once the water evaporated or dried, it was just a film stuck on the glass. But there is adhesive. That makes it another challenge because you do need something on the, the emblem in this case, so that you can move it around a little bit. You need a little bit of a lubricant, whether that be water, soapy water. I know they also make some sort of a solution that you can use, but you need something to be able to kind of slide that around, pull it up, push it back down, because that emblem is not a flat shape, it's rounded, right? So you're taking a flat sheet of tent and trying to conform it to the shape of the emblem itself. Hence, heating it up, I guess, so that you can stretch it a little bit. It really is kind of an art form. You know, it's like other things I've mentioned. Until you do it about a million times, and I'm never going to do it a million times. I'm on time number three or four, probably. And that's going to be it for me. So I don't look to ever master it. I just look to get look lucky enough to be able to do it one time for good. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of clarify my little Tacoma TSS Blackout Project. 
And to thank everybody for all the suggestions, I really do appreciate that, but I am looking for something translucent, not just to spray over and cover it up. That would be too easy, right? Leave a comment, let me know. Have you used a translucent material? Something that shows the bads through? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting right out there in the bright light. Also, Rob Motive Civic, about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Check them out if you're interested. Why wouldn't you subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.